Have you visited the Warden's house? He's in charge of watching over the Safari Zone at night, so that thugs don't come in to steal Pokemon. I work as a breeder in the Safari Zone, and, among other things, I am in charge of massaging the Pokémon to relieve them of their stress. Do any of your Pokémon need a massage? Um, no. Oh, well, come whenever you want. A Pokémon can get very stress, very stressed after so many battles. Oh, hello. I am the Warden. I work to prevent thieves from trying to steal the exotic Pokémon from the Safari Zone. Although right now, I am not in a very good mood. You see, the other day, I was doing a routine inspection around the Safari Zone, and when I came back, I realized that I had lost my engagement ring. It is a memento that I have of my late wife. If I don't get it back, I won't be able to forgive myself. I imagine it's somewhere in the Safari Zone, but that's huge. Maybe I have to give it up. They say that a red-colored Gyarados has been sighted in the neighboring region. I'm sure the people in charge of the Safari Zone will try to buy it if it turns out to be true. Each Pokemon has its own varied diet, and you can't imagine what some of them can eat. For example, we have a Tyranitar that needs a ton of rocks a day to feed itself. It's incredible. I took my Geodude to the exotic shop, and they transformed it into an Alolan Geodude. Wait, that's pretty cool. It now has a different look and type. I'll have to get used to it. Hmm, interesting. Here are plushies of all kinds of Pokemon, although, according to what I've been told, the Vaporeon one is always the first to run out. Wow, I never thought my Marowak could be even more awesome. Now, it's a fire type. Hi, I'm the Common Transformer. I can transform one of your Pokemon into its regular version for just 20,000 Poke Dollars. <laughs> Understandable. Common is boring. Hello. I'm the Exotic Transformer. I can transform one of your Pokemon to its exotic version for only 20,000 Poke Dollars. No? Do you really not want to try an exotic version of one of your Pokemon? I don't have any Pokemon that could be exotic. So, uh, yeah, gonna have to say no. Wow, I've never seen that Pokemon before. Is it from another region? I wonder if the Pokemon will have enough space to swim and feel free. That Pokemon is Lapras. Years ago, it was in danger of extinction, but we have managed to increase its population through breeding, through breeding, and now it is not considered an endangered species. 
It is still a rare and strong Pokemon. Good luck if you try to get your hands on one. Each region has its own variety of regional forms. Where are the regional forms of Kanto? Well, we have yet to discover them, I guess. Welcome to the Safari Zone. You will be able to catch exotic Pokemon that you will not find anywhere else in the region. Also, if you make it to our Lone Researcher's booth, we'll give you a special reward. Do you want to try your luck? It's 5,000 Poke Dollars. Very well. Take as much time as you want to enjoy our facilities. Good luck. Not really looking to catch any new Pokemon right now. Oh, hello. A very powerful normal Pokemon. Kangaskhan? No, what the? Wire Deer? It's Psychic Normal. Okay, interesting. Looks like an evolution of Stanler. Which is kind of cool. Alright. Um, Crunch. Swords Dance. Leftovers and a mint. Plus attack minus special defense. It's a mega stone. I saw a Kangaskhan, but it escaped in the blink of an eye. It can't be. I had been after that Pokemon for days. There are not many bug Pokemon in the Safari Zone, but the few that do exist are tremendously strong. I hope I can get my hands on a Yanmega before my time is up. I'm looking for a Persian. Would you trade it for my Stantler? I need to observe a Kangaskhan to gather data for a report. Could you show me one in the first position of your team? I don't know if I want to... <laughs> I might do that, but I don't know if I want to spend five hours trying to catch a Kangaskhan. Will you let me see the Pokemon I've... Wait, what? Will you let me see the Pokemon I've caught in action?
What a beautiful time to be alive. I saw a very curious rock-type Pokemon that had axes as its hands. I swear that in my many trips to the mountains, I have never seen one like that. TM62 Acrobatics. Well, that's a really good move. Nobody can learn it. Well, this Pokemon appears here. Skarmory. I risk a close combat. Yes. Nice. I was unsure if it was going to knock it out, but good thing it did. You want to learn Crunch. Would I rather have Crunch or Poison Jab? Probably Crunch. Wow, I did not expect to lose. Wait, I'm lost. The ruin this way. Max revive. There are many valuable ground and rock type Pokemon. This safari is heaven for a seasoned hiker like me. By the way, did you know that the head of Team Rocket, Giovanni, is considered the foremost expert on ground type Pokemon? I'm looking for a Murkrow. Would you trade it for my Sneasel? I need to observe a Venomoth specimen to collect the data for a report. Could you show me one in the first position of your team? Okay, so they want to see a Kangaskhan and a Venomoth. Why a Venomoth? That's interesting. Because my first thought was, maybe we'll get the Megastone for Kangaskhan if we show a Kangaskhan to that one researcher. But maybe that's not the case if they also want to see a Venomoth. Ooh, another, another one of these. Very powerful grass Pokemon. Meganium, which is Grass Fairy. That's good. It means it's four times weak to poison. Was not expecting the light screen. 
Cheerful Mint and the other one. Plus special defense minus attack. Okay. The rocks you throw at the Pokemon are, what is that word? Homodulated? The rocks you throw at the Pokemon are homodulated, so as not to cause injury. No spikes, no rough texture, not too dense. Oh, we found some soft sand, not bad. Wait. This is a dead end. I don't have I don't have a way to surf. Oh, what? Okay, I did <laughs> I did not expect us to be able to just walk on the water here. Okay. Wow. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm looking for a pincer. Would you trade it for my scyther? Many of the imported Pokemon from the Safari Zone come from tropical regions, such as Alola. It seems to me, it seems to be a miracle that the original habitat of these Pokemon could be recreated here in Kanto without any problems. I need to observe a cleaver specimen to collect the data for a report. Could you show me one in the first position of your team? Okay. Can I find one of those in the wild? Uh, not here. So I want to see a Kangaskhan, a Venomoth, and a Cleaver. I'll think about doing that. This swamp is worthy of my witchcraft. Can I practice it with you? Oh, I also noticed Masquerade is bug water instead of bug flying. That is no apple acid. Well, that's new. My witchcraft has a long way to go. It's Mega Stone. I need Surf to get to it. Do I have to go into the marsh to catch Pokemon? Maybe this is not my thing.
I'm not hopping that ledge. If I could cross the water, it would be much easier to reach the secret areas of the safari. Oh, there's the, uh, the ring. I have never had time to get this far in the safari zone. What will be in this area? I think I'm close to getting a shiny Pokemon. I'll beat you for luck. I've had my face smeared. You have entered the deepest part of the safari zone. Very few people get this far. I think you've earned this. TM15 Surf. The move Surf is not only powerful in battle, but it is also used to sail the seas on the back of your Pokemon. To get that functionality though, you'll need to earn the Saffron City Badge. Okay. Firm Mint. Plus attack minus special attack. Looking for a Kingler, would you trade it for my Quillfish? Did you manage to meet Chansey? It is one of the rarest species in the Safari Zone. And not only is it rare to come across, but it's also very difficult to capture. Oh, you brought me the receipt for the last order I placed for Moo Moo Milk. Well, you saved me a lot of trouble, otherwise... I wouldn't be able to balance the accounts at the end of the month. You can keep this for your trouble. 10 quick balls. Nice. I need to 
I need to observe a Donphan specimen. Okay. So all the researchers want to see are Kangaskhan, Cleaver, Venomoth, and Donphan. I will consider catching those Pokemon. I'll consider it. Don't know if I will, because I'm not sure how long it's going to take. Especially for, like, Venomoth and Donphan, probably not that difficult to get. But I'm worried about Kangaskhan and Cleaver. So I'm not sure if I will do that. Anyways, looks like we're done here in the Safari Zone. Megastone! Scizorite. Not bad. Oh, wow. Uh, we actually found a Kangaskhan. Well, maybe I will try to catch it then. Do I risk another crunch? Please don't. Don't take him out. Nice. Okay. Okay. Let's go to Venusaur. Sleep Powder. First try. Come on. First try. One, two, three. Nice! Okay, we actually caught a Kangaskhan. Awesome. Here, let's go. Uh, I think it was this one, right? Oh, perfect. I see you've managed to catch a specimen. This will allow me to complete my research report on the species. Thank you. You can keep this. A robot. Oh, okay. So we probably just get plates for uh for showing these mons. All right. Cool. Defense. Let's give that to Venusaur. Never mind. Excadrill. Never mind. Sent to Scorch. Perfect. Okay, cool. Wait, you found my engagement ring? You just did me a huge favor. Now I can sleep peacefully at night again. I know it's a small reward by comparison, but I'll give you this. What is the lens of truth? Hello? It is a lens of truth, a gadget used by the ninjas of Fuchsia City. I think it could be useful for you to progress in Leader Koga's gym. Oh, we can use it to see the invisible walls. Oh yeah, that actually is pretty useful. <laughs> okay, cool. The gym in this city is very special, as it is run by a ninja clan. The story goes, the story goes back centuries, when Fuchsia City was known for its ninja arts of warfare. The gym leader uses poison as a strategy, but do you know which berry you can use to cure the poison? Pecha. That is, a Pecha berry like this. Okay, cool. Sometimes, to win a complicated battle, it is not enough to know the interactions between the different types of Pokemon, but rather more complex knowledge is needed. 
I remember when I lost a match against a very weak Pokemon because I made the mistake of letting it letting it power up with the move Sword Stance. The other day, I met a trainer from a faraway region. He told me that in order to improve as a trainer, he forced himself to release Pokemon that fainted in battle. He said that he said that only with such an extreme measure would he achieve perfection and not make mistakes. Interesting. The love for the exotic in this city began with the Safari Zone. As it was very successful and tourists came from all over, more services were opened, the exotic store and the fair on Route 14. Right now, Fuchsia City represents a meeting point between all the cultures of the world. Isn't it great? The gym used to be run by Koga. Only by Koga, the head of the ninja clan of Fuchsia City. But now, he has started fighting alongside his daughter so that one day, she will be ready to take over. It seems that day will come soon, as offers for promotion to the Elite Four are coming to Leader Koga. Interesting. Okay. If you have a bike, you can cross Cycling Road to get to Celadon City super fast. Although, the fastest way would also be to fly 